Columbus City Schools will ask voters to support a more than nine mil levy in November. The district says it'll be an opportunity for true reform, but 10 TV's Tanisha Millett has new information on where some of that money is going. On this lazy summer day, Todd Kale's daughter isn't thinking about school, but he's thinking about what her school district will ask of him come November. I want my daughter to have a good education and I want to support the public schools here. So um, anything I can do to help there is, is always important. The district says the levy would generate approximately $515 million over the next five years and would increase the amount of school property taxes by $315 annually per $1,000 in property value. A bit steep for some voters. We have no kids in the school. I have two grandkids in the school, but we're paying off our house and we can't afford that. Especially, some of the districts say, when you consider for the first time a small portion of the money will go to nonprofit charter schools and to create an independent auditor position who will report to the mayor, city council president, Columbus City auditor, a county probate judge, and the board of education president. School board president Carol Perkins says this levy is a new start for Columbus City Schools. We're talking about real, real reform here, uh, doing things uh, differently, being able to produce and provide the best possible education for all of our students in the city of Columbus. Could be a tough sell, but one parent says he's on board. I think they're doing a good job, but they can always use more help. Tanisha Millette, 10TV News.